Hi, this is Mobile Video Editing. In this episode, we'll see how to use gradients to create a video containing multiple animations using only one title in one track. This tutorial will be divided in two parts, each part on a different episode. In this first part, we'll cover the basics of using gradients to create animations and we'll go through some examples. Part 2 will cover encoding animations in gradient paths, as well as transitions based on this method. Part 1 starts right after the intro. Before getting to the tutorial, let's go through the basics of the method you will be using. The vertical gradient on the screen is a green-only gradient. Values for the red and blue component for each line of color are always zero, while values for the green component start at 243 on the leftmost and brightest line, down to 85, the darkest color, on the rightmost line. You won't need the gradient for this part of the tutorial. It is used for illustration purposes only. After applying the green screen chroma key effect to the gradient and selecting the reverse checkbox, Modifying the brightness range has the following effect. As you increase the brightness range, darker colors become visible. For example, when adjusting the brightness range to 25, this is the darkest color that will be visible, while darker colors will still be invisible. When adjusting the brightness range to 50, the darkest color visible now is darker than the previous one. Keeping those two colors in mind, I have already added a 3 seconds long title to the timeline. The title contains two text elements, each one of them with a face color corresponding to one of the two colors just mentioned. Now let's apply the green screen chroma key effect and reverse it. Next, using keyframes, let's animate the brightness range from 0 at the beginning of the clip to 71.5 at the very end. This is how it looks like. As you can see, the two text elements appear at different times as the value of the brightness range increases. Now, with the basic principles of the method out of the way, let's get started with the tutorial. This is the effect you will be creating in this tutorial. We start in LumaFusion with two video clips, a 10 seconds long title already containing the text and a video background of your choice. Edit the title. It contains 10 words, each word with a face color darker than the one that precedes it. This is the color of the first word. As you can see, the red and blue components of the color have a value of zero while the value of green is E0 hexadecimal. To make the words appear at a consistent pace, you'll need a constant difference between the colors of each word. I chose 16 as the difference between the colors to keep the hexadecimal values rounded. The value of the green color component of the second word is D0 hexadecimal, For the third word is C0 hexadecimal and so on, down to 50 hexadecimal in the last word. Now go to the Colors and Effects tab and tap on the chroma key icon. Select the green screen key option. Click on the reverse key option. Now change the brightness range value to 0 and add a keyframe at the beginning of the clip. Next, move the time slider to the 4 seconds mark, change the brightness range value to 71.5, a keyframe will be automatically created. The purpose of the next steps is to adjust the colors so all the words have the same shade of green. Still in the Colors and Effects tab, 
tap on the colors icon and select the original preset. Make sure the chroma key effect comes first and the original preset comes second. Adjust the values of the original preset as shown. Exit back to the timeline. This is how it looks like so far. Now, move the title so it is placed right above the video containing the background. This is how it looks like. Now, render the video. Once done rendering, bring the video you just created into the project. Now, let's put some color into it. Start by cloning the original title. Edit the cloned copy. Go to Colors and Effects. Remove the chroma key effect and the original color preset. Next, go to the Title tab and give a different color to each word as shown. Now, move the video you previously rendered just above the title. Edit the video and apply the chroma key effect. Exit back to the timeline and you're done. This is how it looks like. Now it's up to you to get creative. You can create effects that look like this. Or like this. So this is it for this episode. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. Give it a like and click on the bell so you are notified when I post new videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.